Yo, what's awesome, on guys? Fix it, you here in today's video. We're going to be doing our TLC 2018 predictions video. I haven't done predictions in a while, but guys, some of the pay per views recently are something I found very interesting, in my opinion. And Survivor Series was good, but Crown Jewel wasn't really a fan of that. Survivor Series was good, like the match cards, but I don't know, they, yeah, some of the endings, mm -hmm. just things like that, wasn't the best. But yeah, TLC do look like a really strong card. We're looking forward to it. Don't know all the stipulate state sits can I say it stipulations. They're gonna know most of them. I've been watching like highlights of SmackDown and Raw. It's just Raw I barely can watch, I've been honest with you guys. Like it's so bad in my opinion. It's not like the superstars fault, it's like the booking of it. It's not even Corbin's fault, it's just the booking of it. SmackDown was really good as well, um last night. Well, I watched it today in the UK so I'm late. But um it's a Wednesday and it was on Tuesday night, but I watched it well technically Wednesday morning early, but I watched it Wednesday in the day but yeah it was really good with Mustafa Ali with Daniel Bryan it's like why can Roy do things like this I've seen people point out on Instagram as well and people like Steinsberg shout out to him and like what takes and all people like Cody villain and all people like that and it's like it was a true point like why can Roy do this so we have all them a follow too and yeah the predictions now let's start off there for so the first match the mixed match challenge finals I believe we have our truth Carmella Taking on Alicia Fox and Jinder Mahal. And the, I'm not sure if it's another match. Like, I don't think it's another match with Bailey and Bob, um, not Bobby Lashley, um, Apollo or Apollo Crews. I'm not sure if I read his last name. I think it's just Apollo or Apollo Crews. Crews? No, I think it's just Apollo. But no, that could be another match, but I'm not sure. I think this is the final. And then Our Truth, Carmella, and taking on Jinder Mahal and then Alicia Fox. I'm going figure out and. The winners of this, obviously, the um, get it. winners of the Mixed Nuts Challenge shown it there because of the charity. And obviously, this time, I think the Enter 30 in the Royal Rumble could be running in the comments down below if that's true or not. So, if that's true, I'm going to go with Jinder, <laughs> Our Truth, and Carmella. They're just the right um, winners. So I don't even think they're going to win this whole thing. So, they'll lose so much. We brought it back. And I love their dance breaks. One of the funniest things for me on SmackDown. I just love Carmella and Our Truth. It is so funny. But yeah, I reckon he's going to win. So our truth will be number 30 in the men's and Camilla in the women's number 30. It could be wrong, but that's what I'm going for for that match. Like, like I'm not sure if that's how the sit uh, works. I think definitely you know, the men's get 30 in the Royal Rumble. It only makes sense if the women do. I think they do anyway. They get a spot. I believe they do. Could be wrong. Now, the next match we have is Ruby Riot taking on Natalia. And this is a tables match, I believe. And I'm not too bothered for this match, really. Prediction, if I have to say it. Ruby Riot been looking quite strong, and she brought like a table of um, her father out, and I'm sorry I forgot his name on the table, and then she got upset, but I'm going to go with the winner, Natalia, to win this match, tables match. Jim, his name was Jim, the heart, I can't even say his name, I'm so sorry, but he's the one, that's her father, so, and she was just taking a mick on Ro, with the table of here on, since she's going to put our table, so I reckon Natalia's going to get the win here. Now the next match we have, let's have a look. We have Rey Mysterio right here. The 619 Rey Mysterio taking on Randy Orton. So you've got the chairs too, and this is a chairs match. Shout out to the ringside collectors for them chairs. To put them up on the Black Friday deal. And came with the tape, the set, the two chairs, ladders, and take one of the tables, put a separate table. But yeah, I'm going to go. Randy Orton's an amazing heel. He's been destroying Rey for like not hitting him with a throat and just cross. The back and then this SmackDown like the one yesterday last night or this morning Wednesday morning whatever you want to say yeah Wednesday Ray just attacked Randy with a chair and if I'm going to go this match I reckon Ray Mysterio is going to win this because he came back now I just don't think he would lose on the pay-per-view like this and the big match against the Viper Randy Orton and I'm going to go with Ray Mysterio for this match and a chairs match now the next match we have is Braun Strowman Who's apparently injured? They say he's gonna make it to TLC. I think he's gonna be on the card here. Yeah. Said he's in, he's like injured with one of his arms. It's all bruised up. But I think it's part of the. No, he is legitimately injured. But I think he'd be back in time. He's taking on Constable Corbin, which we need an updated one, which would be nice in twenty nineteen. Bill McKenna make it. But make Bill sweat. Now we all get one of those. But um, if Braun wins and Corbin's not general manager no more, I don't think it would be Kurt Angle still general manager. And if Corbin went Barrett, if Braun wins, he gets another title opportunity at Brock at the Royal Rumble for the Universal Championship, I believe. And Corbin says he's going to win by count-out. 
and but uh, that's another case. Bruins gonna come out, and he's just gonna power slam in through some tables. I think this is a TLC match as well. Could be wrong, but the winner this, I'm gonna go for Braun Strowman if he comes out. Now the next match is for the Raw Women's Championship. We have Ronda Rousey taking on Nia Jax. Can't wait to get that Ronda figure, the basic 90. I think it's 90. Could be wrong. Let comments down below. And then, obviously, Elite 65. So, for a pre-order on ringside. Which, yeah, Elite 65, which is awesome. But in the UK, we won't get it for a while now. So, so for a pre-order now, yeah. But I can't wait for that Ronda as well. Comes with the contract table on the black, black leather jacket and the rowdy shirt in black and orange and red and the black leather jeans and the basics. Just a white top with black jeans with no jacket and just the white shirt with the basic. Ronda... A rowdy gun across with the yellow, white, and red, and orange. Just once, like in honor of Ron, um, Rowdy Piper. So yeah, the way she done that. But yeah, the winner of this match is like I don't see any point of Nia winning this. She's like one of the most hated women in WWE at the moment because when she busted Becky's nose and she just missed Survivor Series. So I'm gonna go with Ronda Rousey to win this match. Mm, the next match we have. Is the Kingslayer Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose in a TLC match again, I believe. And I wish I need an IC title as well. I gave him away trade to my friend, or so to my friend. And it's kind of official EFW, but check him out as well. He got that. You give me an NXT title for one of my customs, my almost we've seen in the last video. But yeah, the last video, no, not last video, so with the custom batch video. It could be the last video, I'm not sure, guys. But yeah, they got that. And yeah, I reckon like this match is really tricky because Seth, we could have Seth lose the IC title here to Dean Ambrose. Then we could have Seth win the Rumble, potentially, the Rumble 2018 winner. Or if not, I'm going to go with Seth runs retaining that Intercontinental Championship. This match is going to be amazing. I'm going to tear the roof down. You just know these two got good chemistry in the ring. And yeah, I'm just going to go with Seth Rollins to win this match and retain the Intercontinental Championship. The next match we have Drew McIntyre taking on Finn Balor. And now this match against Tricky is Finn Balor going to roar and apparently he's injured. Which I'm not too sure on his, was his leg or arm, I'm not even too sure. It might be his arm again or his leg. When he dislocated, or it might be the opposite arm or one of his legs, but I'm not too sure. It will be part of the storyline, and if it is, if Drew will beat Balor if he comes out normal Balor, but it's potentially if he is all part of the um, like scene, we could possibly possibly see the Demon King at TLC again this year. We will have Tyra with TLC 2017. Yeah, 2017 against... Oh, it's dropped so much stuff. And I can't get this... Against this man, AJ Styles, and this blue attire, which is very awesome with them knee pads on. Fix it. Need to do a video of that. So, oh, yeah, we did a fix it with our video already, but... Yeah, and if so, I reckon Balor's going to win. But if he comes out as the no normal demon, we all know Balor just never wins. A <laughs> normal demon. We're going to get Kalemo and goodbye, Balor. But if it's the Demon King... You know we're just going to see that coup de grace to Drew. But if Balak legitimately, legitimately can't, instead of legitimately, yeah, legit, legitimately can make the pay-per-view, it's potential people to take a spot to burst through is to show off my boy Dolph Ziggler. And I'd be never, we've seen this match on Raw two weeks in a row. Drew McIntyre got a win. No, Dolph got the win. Then Drew McIntyre in this Raw, this week's Raw. And then, so that was last week's and this week's was... Um, Drew in that TLC we could see one final match which Drew would win you would claim uh, my boy Dolph which is unfortunately but Drew is an absolute beast but a rumoured person to return could be Bray Wyatt to take on this Drew McIntyre it would just be a random match but apparently I've heard rumours too from wrestling days like you've been talking about in his predictions video as well that Bray Wyatt is apparently rumoured to face Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble for the Universal Championship and that is true that would be very awesome to give him the win here or he costs Bruin the match or Bruin comes short in his match against Corbin if he does then Bray wins and then Bray vs Brock is very confusing but I'm gonna overall I'm gonna go with Drew McIntyre on if against Dolph and Bray if any of them do come out if Ballard do compete Demon if, if he's Demon he's winning if he's non-Demon Drew's winning so that's my predictions of that 
Next match we have the tag team SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. And I just realized I've only got one with me. I don't know if there's one in my bin here. Like my finger bin. I won't grab one real quick. Let's think I've got one. over my squeaky door. But I found that I just got these on my father. The two SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. I have one my American Alpha 59 or 60 on display. One Jordan, but I can't find Chad somewhere in my room. We have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. So against, so it'd be Sheamus and Zaro, which I need to guess is a arrow figure. Turns so many Cesaro's into Champers, like two now. So we got Sheamus and Cesaro. Ice, ice, shamey. No, that, that was so funny on <laughs> SmackDown <laughs> in the rap battle. Okay, that I do. This match got no stipulation, which this would have been amazing if it did. Can't get shamey to stand. Okay, pop the title on it. I also realized the brightness ain't the best, too. I think it's decent, though. Taking on the Usos. Put the Usos standing up here. And then taking on the New Day. Pop the New Day right by here. And yeah, this match, this is going to be amazing. This could be once the match of the night. Like, these men always tear it up. And we know that Usos got good chemistry with New Day. New Day chemistry with a bar shape. Usos with a bar, good chemistry. If I'm honest, like this should have been a table slide and shit match. These guys would have teared it down. And I'm going to protect the Usos as our new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. I reckon it's time for the Usos to retain or recapture these titles and dominate the SmackDown Live division. So yeah, that's my predictions for that. Also, the Raw Tag Team Champions ain't on the line. Obviously, Gable and Brood won them on um, Monday Night Raw. Lost to ALP, but the Royal Tag Team titles ain't on the line. That division's just a joke at the moment. Like, no major things, like the whole gimmick with, like, with Drake Maverick being on Survivor Season, like on Raw and Ro Bobby Roode's robe and stuff, so stupid. Okay, so our next match is for the WWE Championship. The new Daniel Bryan. I think it's not new. <laughs> Can't wait to get that WrestleMania 34, Bryan, which looks in the prototype of San Diego Comic Con. So I've seen, like, the full finish product of that taking on the phenomenal one AJ Styles and he's gonna try and recapture his championship will he though I'm not too sure then I reckon Daniel Bryan's just gonna re I don't know I feel like AJ should win the title but I'm not too sure anymore like it's like I read I want AJ to um AJ to um recapture this but at the same time, I think Daniel Bryan just won it, so like they're not going to give it away to him. Give it away any time. And sorry as well if you just hear my dogs and my dad just barking. I think someone's at the door, even my mum. But yeah, that was just a load of self, you hear that? But yeah, I reckon Daniel Bryan's going to retain here. And I think this is a TLC's match again, and I would love to see AJ retain or recapture it, but I reckon Daniel Bryan's going to hold on to this for a bit longer now, and I really wish AJ would win. So I want to see AJ would just Still hold our title for another like 355 days. That would have been awesome. Now the final match, and this the match I'm looking forward to the most. We have the SmackDown Live Women's Championship Triple Threat with my girl Becky Lynch. Give this a stand. My girl Charlotte Flair. And my girl back, um, Oscar. And guys, this match is going to be phenomenal. This is a stipulation with tables, tables, ladders, and chairs. It's going to be absolutely awesome. They have been using candlesticks too, which have been a bit weird. I don't know if you can use them in the match. I think you can, so anything goes. But they've been using candlesticks on SmackDown to Oscar, and Becky, and Charlotte. And obviously, Charlotte been using them on Bronda at Survivor Series. So, candlesticks are just a big thing with these women at the moment. <laughs> 
But yeah, if I would like to see, I love Becky as champion, but I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing Charlotte win the title, honestly. One of my favorites as well. Same with Oscar, but I reckon Becky Lynch is going to retain here. She's just on fire at the moment. Just can't see anyone beating her for that title. And yeah, I'm going to go with Becky Lynch, but do not miss this match. This match is going to be <laughs> absolutely incredible. And yeah, I've got two more matches on the card too. We've got Bobby Lashley versus Elias, which I honestly don't care about that match, but Bobby Lashley's so annoying. Going to go with Elias to pick up the win here. He's got the East over with the crowd. And then the, the other match was the Cruiserweight match between Cedric Alexander versus Buddy Murphy, I believe. And I love Cedric Alexander and Buddy Murphy as well. But I'm going to go with Buddy Murphy retaining his title. They're the awesome match for overseas as well and Super Show down in Australia. But yeah, there are the other two matches and predictions for that. And obviously I'm going to keep Becky to retain this match. And yeah, guys, that's been my TLC 2018 predictions video. Let me know in comments down below if you're looking forward to this. And what match you're looking forward to the most. And... Yeah, this is all that good stuff in the comments down below. Please like the video, subscribe, and I'll do the pick head yet. Um, not in the video for once. And yeah, subscribe if you already like the video, and all that good stuff in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.